The control center items for loop F-302 can be found by using a building equipment location plan. Find cabinets 2, 3, 4, and 9. Also find instrument panel A. Locate the credenza. And the computer. A panel board layout drawing is used to locate the controller's slot. Find F302 controller on the panel layout. Each cabinet has a terminal directory or layout drawing. This is the terminal layout for panel 4. Locate TB3253. TB3253 is in terminal row number 325. It is the third block from the top. Here is the actual TB3253. Locate TB3321 on the drawing. This is TB3321. This is Cabinet 3. Locate TB30510. It is shown here. TB3244 is located here on the drawing. And this is the way it looks in the panel. Also locate TB3011. This is TB3011. The computer items consists of frames. Frame is actually another name for terminal cabinet. This drawing shows the computer frame location and numbering. This loop functions as follows. The controller receives 110 volts from AC circuit A213. The controller has a built-in power supply. Pin A is plus 65 volts. Pin F is negative. The red line traces the 10 to 50 milliamp current path from pin F to pin A. Notice the 100 ohm resistor located on TB3244 the 10 to 50 milliamp input current passing through this 100 ohm resistor will produce 1 to 5 volts. The 1 to 5 volt signal goes to controller pin D. This is the controller process input. The same 1 to 5 volt signal goes to trend recorder number 7 on the credenza. and the voltage drop across the input resistor also goes to the computer. Take a close look at the current paths through transmitter F302X and field indicator F302I. There are two paths for current. The current normally goes through the indicator. 
But suppose the field indicator malfunctioned and sustained an open circuit. The current would then flow through the OMC 711 device. The OMC 711 is called a meter saver. It is physically two back-to-back -back diodes. Two diodes are used to make the device goof-proof. You cannot hook it up backwards. When the meter is in parallel with the meter saver, there are only a few tenths of a volt across the diodes. Neither diode conducts since there is not enough voltage present to forward bias them. So, all the current goes through the field indicator. But if the indicator opens up, 65 volts is developed across the open circuit. 65 volts is more than enough voltage to turn on the diode. Current flows through the diode and the loop continuity is preserved. About six-tenths of a volt remains across the diodes. The meter saver is actually a loop saver. It prevents loss of a process input and resulting unit upset. The 10 to 50 milliamp controller output current signal flows from pin X of the controller through the I to P transducer through a 100 ohm resistor to pin W of the controller. A 1 to 5 volt signal develops across the 100 ohm resistor. The computer senses this signal. This signal is called valve position feedback. The computer receives one more signal from the controller. The signal is called DDC enable. This signal is produced by a contact closure inside the controller. When the controller selector switch is in digital position, the contact closes. The computer senses the closure and knows the controller is available for direct digital control. If the selector is in manual or analog, the contact is open and the computer knows that it cannot enable direct digital control. Now work exercise number four in your workbook.